Hey guys, welcome, welcome to another ramble. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think I've mentioned in other videos that I am quite curious, I am very inquisitive, and I really like spending, I want to say, most of my time in deep contemplation, you know? Whether that being radically present in the moment or just kind of like delving into subject matter that I don't quite understand yet. And the reason I do it, and I feel like if you have been attracted to my videos, is you are a truth seeker. You know, you want to know not half truths because the world is full of half truths. You want to know, like, you want to know the, the whole truth, you know? I mean, that's what I aspire for and towards, you know? So for me, it's just like when I look at my life, um, I think in a previous video, I also said that, yeah, I'm looking for something true. But in this world, it's so hard to find anything that is true. And although most things are comprised of half truths or partial truths it's like that doesn't satiate me you know and that's why like I will continuously look at like a topic of interest and I will sit with it sometimes I will put it down you know only to revisit it because it's like okay the first time around I saw this and now I can examine it from this angle or this angle or this angle or that angle or that angle. You know, there's just so many, like, I don't know, things to explore, like, regarding just, like, one one topic or a particular subject matter. And um, because I hold truth in such high esteem, it's like I can smell bullshit, <laughs> like, pretty early on. And even if, say, somebody were to successfully pull the wool over my eyes, so to speak, um, I'm so curious and inquisitive that even if somebody pulled the wool over my eyes, I'd keep tugging at it until I got to see what I was actually dealing with, you know? It's like, I don't stop. <laughs> and I guess this is a trait that I am grateful to have because I don't take things at face value, you know? Um, I have a tendency to look at something from different angles, you know, I, I don't stop at just one angle or two angles or three angles or four angles. And I apologize if there's any background noises. I do have the air conditioning on and then there, I am in a parking lot. So if you can hear like background noises, I apologize. But yeah, so for me, I think that's also why I have tendencies to be on my own. Because even when dealing with people, you know, it's almost like, I don't know, like, it's hard to find people who are on that same frequency or vibe where they, like, um, really relish and find satisfaction in things that are closer to truth, you know? I'm always striving towards that, you know? But I really do appreciate and probably keep people man I don't even know because you know as I get older like I allow less and less people into like my inner circle you know I feel like yeah I mean that's something that you need to earn you know and not many people have earned the right to have access to me that way especially as I get older and I notice the tomfoolery that's going on in the world. I love that word. Isn't that such a silly word? Tomfoolery? <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, it's just like, if you're not transparent, if you're not honest, if you're not, and most people aren't even honest with themselves, so how can they be honest with you, you know? So it's just like, well, if you're not honest and you can't be transparent, 
then you probably won't have access to me, you know? And so I feel like, I don't know, like there's different levels of levels to it, but I think I have maybe, maybe four people that have access, but not full on access, you know? And these people, I want to say are very transparent with me, you know, and they're open-minded enough for me to like talk about some concerning things that I've noticed about them and then they course correct, you know. Um, hmm. Yeah, three, three people solid too and not even like romantic like just platonic friends you know man you know what's really um I don't want to say scary but something that uh, I want to say most people like err in is like when they get into like romantic relationships I think it's it's interesting when you get into romantic relationships because of the chemical components involved and what I mean by that is like you know the the love the feelings the the hope the pers I don't know the um possibilities you know that you kind of like I don't know birth in your imagination if that even makes am I making sense yeah that that definitely pulls the wool over your eyes. You're pulling the wool over your own eyes, you know, because of the love and the connection is so intense and all these, all these chemical agents are running through your body and it just kind of distorts your like vision and of reality, you know, your perception gets warped, you know, because you put all these hopes and, and dreams and your imagination is just completely off kilter when you're in love you know and that's what they mean by rose tinted glasses you know you're seeing wor the world through rose tinted glasses yeah it, that's 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 true you know but um where was I going with this yeah that that basically keeps you kind of like investing in a lie you know because you don't think about it when you like have such an intense connection with someone on many levels it's almost like you lose yourself you know then you lose your ability to see things truthfully you know and that's where like a lot of devastation happens because once you realize like I don't know like how you've tricked yourself into believing something that absolutely isn't true it's just like, whoa, you know, you get hit with a freight train of lies and then it's just like, oh, I let my guard down. I became vulnerable. I, you know, threw like, what is that? What is that saying where you throw something to the wind? I don't know. You throw, you throw everything to the wind and you're lost in a wave of emotions that completely throw you off kilter and pull you away from, you know, a realistic perception and then yeah it's devastating when you realize what happened you know it's like you tricked yourself into believing a lie you know instead of looking at things realistically that's why people bypass red flags honestly red flags are like very clear it's just you bypass them because you're like oh you know uh, oh you know I'm so in love with this person and oh this we're gonna have this future together and La la la, and all this time this person is showing you who they are, and you're bypass, you're fooling yourself. Yeah, no more of that, no more of that, guys. No more of that. We're just gonna see things just as they are, and that's why I, I keep like saying like in my videos to take time to be present. You know, take time to be with yourself. You know, because if you are with yourself and you know yourself, then you can never fool yourself and. When you're present, it's just like you accept everything as it is in the moment, you know? Red flag, green flag, yellow flag, all flags, you know, you see what you're dealing with. And you can, you won't be tricked, you won't be fooled again. Not by yourself, not by others. And that's why I don't subscribe to a lot of things, 
you know it's just like so hard to find something real in this fake world you know I mean it, and and I'm not trying to sound like pessimistic let's let's be real you know let's be real this 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 whole world is made up of illusions you know black magicians casting spells to alter your perception of reality so that you can you know I want to say honor their whims their whimsy <laughs> anyways um, I'm gonna end this video if you learned something cool if you didn't that's cool too I know I'm sitting in a car and I do have this weird towel um, the sun was shining so bright and it felt burnt and I'm like oh no I need to like get some kind of like I don't know some kind of <laughs> anyways you don't need to know about that um yeah be I want to say don't forget to be present don't forget to invest in yourself invest in yourself first before you invest in anything else because you are the most important investment ever you know have a wonderful day um thank you for stopping by and blessings to one and all amen